what is up guys this is platinum point and I'm here to bring you guys a deck profile this this time I decided to do white shorts because I promised a while back that I would do a white shorts content and during my hiatus I kind of made the decision to do that and also it kind of helps that I was binge playing whites for about as early as October so I decided from then on to do Weiss content when I get back on YouTube. So I'm gonna be juggling Weiss, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! So yeah, I ideally I wanna do Weiss content on Wednesdays and Thursday and or Thursdays because that's when I go to locals for Weiss. Um, but we'll see how that goes. The schedule will change over time. But um, this I decided to do my, my first Weiss deck profile on an English deck since it's easy to explain and the English meta is well defined in a sense that the card pool is, is not as big as the Japanese one so it's easier to see how the why certain decks are competitive and I decided to choose my most recent um, completed English deck which is Sword Art Online and ironically this deck is still one of the top five in, in the Japanese metagame because it inherently has no set that counters this deck because it has pretty much ev like everything to every way to play this there's a multiple ways to play this and each of them is equally competitive in this build I'm doing a gold bar standby build which emphasizes the, the use of the standby trigger which allows you to play characters whose level is higher or lower than your current level with the higher stip is the stipulation and it can only be one level higher than your current level so if you're at zero you can play one at one two and so on and since your the game only goes up to level three you're lucky you don't have to go play there's no level fours yet they might change that in the future and then the the gold bar basically is a generic 1k one soul and soul is what determines how much damage you deal most characters have one soul so you're dealing one damage when you front attack and potentially one damage if you side attack depending on the level of the opponent that you're facing the, the, the character your opponent plays opposite to it um the this combos with the one zero zekin yuki which hat which i'll explain later and the standby combos with the, this silica which I'll explain later um, if you guys want to know the basics on how to play Weiss if you want to get into Weiss I will put in the link in the description below the to some resources on teaching you how to play the game but overall uh, um, let's get on to the deck profile starting off with the, mon the characters at the zero step we're playing four copies of the gathering material silica which has the ability when it comes to play reveal the top card of your deck if it's a character add it to your hand and discard a card and it also has the ability when it gets reversed by your opponent in battle if the character facing it that reverses it is zero or lower you can reverse it and when it's reversed after the battle step it goes straight to the waiting room which is the graveyard so this helps you um mitigate losing battles by forcing one for one trades and it's a deck thinner on top of that which is really nice and then we're playing three copies of the time to get serious kitty toll let me zoom in a bit um this has the ability when it comes into play it gains plus 1500 till the end of your turn and when it reverses an opponent's character you can select one of your characters rest it and move it to the back row and you, and the great thing about this is you can even select a character that was rested and move it to the back row just to protect it from being reversed during your opponent's turn. But you can also use this to save a character that was reversed. So it ha it has two two specific uses. It has many more unique uses, but that's up to you to find out based on the conditions of the board. Um, continuing on, we're playing three cops of the close call silica. This climax combos with the standby on play. You can check the top card of your deck and you can decide to mill it or leave it at the top of your deck. You don't reveal it to your opponent because it doesn't specify that, so that's great. And also has the climax combo. When the climax is in play, you may bounce this character, reveal the top card of your deck if it's a character, add it to your hand. So what you would do is mill the first card, then play the standby combo and bounce it and then reveal the next card and add it. So you're deck thinning two cards. 
And the great thing about this is that it comes really well with the Sandmine because, because its effect is allows you to optimally play a free card in the back row if you play this in the back row without playing over a character because in most situations most people are kind of forced to either leave a slot open or play over a character and it's usually only optimal if you're playing over a reversed character as that card is already going to go to the waiting room this frees that option up for you so you can actually full board nicely then we play three copies of a sister fond of her brother Lifa, which has the ability when you play an active act ability which is basically an ignition ability in Weiss terms, it, you can select one character and that character gains plus 1000 until the end of the turn, which is really nice because it helps modify the the numbers for your to make the battles much more in your favor. It also has the additional ability when you play any climax that includes this, the gold bar or the standby, you may pay one, excavate the top four cards of your deck. And you can pick a character, uh, avatar, net character from the four and add it to your hand. So it allows you to thin your deck and choose. So it's basically a pot of desires. That's a, not a pot of desires, it's a pot of duality during the battle phases, which is really nice. And what re it combos really well with the standby trigger because if you reveal a level one, especially the one zero Zekin Yuki, you can send it to the waiting room, bounce this, and then play that level one in its place which is really nice because it gives you early game pressure and it allows you to kind of get your desirable level ones into the waiting room which is nice um then we have two copies of sleeping knights um Tolkien, nori and june which has the ability if a Zek if a yuki or asuna is in the center slot of the center stage you can give it plus it gives it plus 1,000 in one level, which helps you avoid suiciders and helps you win the trades and battles nicely. But it also has the ability, the Brainstorm ability. Brainstorm is a lot similar to this, except you excavate the top four. And then for each climax revealed in that excavation, you resolve a specific effect. For this one, it's you pay one, rest two, rest two characters, which means this could be one of the two. For each climax revealed, you add a you search your deck and add one net or avatar character. This allows you to target search instead of having it be random with the top checkers like this and the silica. So this gives you targeted search, which is nice, and that's why I run it. And then continue on when I play four copies of, at the level ones, four copies of the Zekin Yuki, which combos with the gold bar. When she attacks, you may pay one discard. Pay one stock, discard a card, search your deck for up to two characters. So basically, she's a straddles for the deck during the battle step. She's basically a sang and in a sense, but she doesn't have to reverse. She just has to uh, declare an attack. So you can side and search two characters, which is really nice. It also has the the on play ability. It gains 500 for each character, each avatar net character on the board. So she becomes a 6k on her own during your turn. During the turn she's played. And she also, with the climax combo, she gains a level. So she becomes immune to reversers because she's a level 2 when the climax isn't played. Um, next, we play two copies of the SAO Survivor Asuna and Kazuto. I basically use him because he has the on play ability top 2 check, add any card from the two, discard the rest, then discard a card. So you basically hand fix and then you can potentially search for any missing piece that you need whether it be a climax or a needed char essential character then we play two copies of the after party keiko which has the ability to discard a climax salvage a character so that you, again more hand fixing and then salvages a character so you can pick up a missing piece that you need it also has the the same um on reverse effect as the a gathering material sil silica which is a suicide effect so this allows you to win the trades nicely um, lastly, for the for the attackers, we play one copy of the at least to attackers for the one step. One copy of the beacon to counterattack Elizabeth, which has the ability when this declares an attack, if you have two or more net or avatar characters, it becomes a six five. And if it gets reversed, you may reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's a level two, you encore it. It's a free encore, basically. 
if you don't know what Encore is, I'll leave that also in the description below. But basically, Encore is which helps you further increase your chances of winning. So you, this helps your finisher. She's basically the enabler for your finisher. And then lastly, we play two copies of Adventure with Everyone, Leafa. What she does is when she comes into play, look up the top card of the deck equal to the number of net or avatar characters. So basically she's a top check, but she also has the ability when it reverse it, when you reverse an opponent's character, you may discard two characters and kick it, essentially kick it to the clock. So that character becomes damaged, part of the damage, which is really nice. It's another finisher for the deck because it allows you to push for for game and it also has the ability it gains 500 for every other character um you control so if you have a full board she becomes an 11k so i mean 11k yeah 11k so that's it for the deck profile don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and if you want to see more weiss content please thumbs up this video and i will probably put a poll up later on on which deck you would like to see so this is platinum point don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay on point, guys. Peace out.